Yep. Lee Wood, congratulations. What an unbelievable performance. And the new WBA featherweight champion of the world. You've just stopped the number three ranked featherweight in the world by the Ring Magazine to win it as well. How good does that sound? How good does that feel? <laughs> it feels good, you know. And it's now my birthday as well. And uh, to get the stoppage across the line in a, in a great fight, a high pace fight. In the last round with six weeks notice, you know, I couldn't have, uh, I couldn't have done any more. Well, happy birthday as well. What, what, what a way to celebrate your birthday. But just talk us through the fight. There was times in it where you had to dig deep. As you say, it was high pace, which we were going to always expect, weren't we, from, from Ju Cam. But talk us through the finish, because what a way to win it. I did say in an interview, I said, um, I'm going to be catching him clean. And it's not down to me out on the fight last. It's down to him, pretty much. I can sustain that all night. Um, he took some big shots. Big heart. Um, credit to him. But, you know, accumulation has its effect as well. Um, the shot I finished him with later on in the fight wasn't as big as the ones I caught him with earlier on, but took the toll, took the toll, I caught him and, uh, and got the stoppage. We talked about your power, hadn't we, heading into this fight, and you said, look, at the end of the day, the physics are the same, and, and you showed that tonight. That's it, I had belief in it, and um, not only have I got big power, now I know how to, to get it off as well, how to set it up, how to mix it up, and that's the biggest factor, working with Ben um, and Lee Wiley and Barry Smith and the guys down um, to keep performance centre, I really um, changed the game, changed my game for me. As we say, his, his biggest strength coming into the fight, high punch volume and, and high work rate. But we knew you had to be in great condition. You were in amazing condition considering the six weeks notice you had. But the game plan was always to nullify those strengths. And credit to Ben and the team and yourself, most of all, of course, you did that so well. Does anyone know what, the count, what his output was for the fight? Does anyone know what he was throwing? Not 100% sure it, it of this fight. Definitely wasn't 120 punches. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. No, and uh, that's down to the game plan. Um, everyone says, how are you going to do it? What are you going to do? Are you going to hit him hard? Are you going to, are you going to hold him? Are you going to do this? Are you going to do that? It's down to the game plan and uh, you've seen what I did, but even people watching it might still not understand. Um, but that, that's a conversation for another day. <laughs> so have won this belt for Nottingham. You told me during the week that you wanted to inspire a lot of people. How proud does it make you standing here tonight? Because you would have done, you would have done just that, inspired a lot of people. Yeah, hopefully um, you know, the younger generation see this like I did with Carl um, and think, you know what? He's done it. He's world champion, British, Commonwealth, WBO European, a world title to the list. And uh, hopefully the lads in the gyms or the lads not in the gyms yet, Decided to go pick a pair of boxing gloves, go down to Phoenix ABC where I did as well, and uh, start their journey. And what a year it's been for you, of course, winning that British title. We know what a proud moment that was for you, and winning this version of the WBA crown as well. How much do you put down to the work you're doing in the gym every day with Ben? You know, you're talking about those adjustments, setting those shots up, and getting the power shots off because he's certainly getting the best out of Lee Wood. That's it. I mean, um, Lee Wiley and Ben said to me, they've never been so confident in someone getting the tactics right, right as me going into this fight. And I thought, that's a big statement. And I was sparring, I was doing everything they wanted me to do. I was supposed to do two last spars. I did one last spar because they said, look, you've, you've got it right. Don't want to speak. Oh, I just want to do one more, but um, drilling it, drilling it, drilling it. And, um, and they was right, executed it pretty much to perfection. And um, credit to those guys for getting it right. And uh, I just do as I'm told, you know, and uh, it works. You dedicated the British title win to the late Nicky Booth, of course, and you found that something inside so strong once again tonight, didn't you? He'd be very proud, I'm sure, seeing you here tonight. I hope so, mate. And um, I think that track stuck, you know, it's given me a bit of an identity and that's one that I'm going to take forward for my Nottingham crowd. Let's talk about the future then. Um, I was just hearing Eddie there with, with Design talking about some fights. Leo Santa Cruz is an option. Um, let's talk about the other champions. You've got Navarrete, perhaps even the winner of Kid Galahad and Jazza Dickens here at Fight Camp next weekend. In, in your own mind, in your own eyes, What's the, what's the preferred route? <laughs> I'm easy, mate. Um, redemption with uh, Dickens would be great for myself. I'm full confident in Ben getting my tactics right for that fight. I had a bad night with that fight. First style, I a, a box as a pro. I'd like to put that right, naturally. Um, but if there's bigger fights, I said I wanted the Navarrete fight. He's explosive like me. That would be absolute fireworks. People might say me say it's a regular title. Let's fight for the super title. Let's unify. You know, I want big fights. I'm 33 now. Just, just The clock's just ticked. I've got plenty of time on a box for as long as I can, but at a high level, let's get some big fights. 33 or not, this is just the beginning, isn't it? You're certainly very much in the mix now at the top level. Oh, that's it. I wasted, not say wasted, because I picked up, I learned my craft early on, but, you know, my career was stored early on. I didn't win my first major title until I was 30. So in three years, I've been British Commonwealth, well, WWE Europe, European, and now world champion. And uh, my best year is definitely ahead. And if there's anyone to bring you to the city ground, is that Eddie Hearn? 100%. I've already mentioned it as many times as I can in the last two minutes when I've seen him. But, um, you know, it has to make sense and it has to be timing right. You can't, you can't headline uh, at the city ground through winter and you can't do it while Forest are playing every week. So it's got to be in summer. We might have just missed the boat this year. Who knows, you know, international breaks, whatever. We'll see how fast we can do it. But um, if anyone can do it, Eddie can do it. Lee, I'll just leave the final word to you. Any closing messages to your family, your supporters who were here tonight and watching from home? Just thank you um, to my friends, family, my supporters and my doubters as well because they give me fuel, like I said. 
Um, it's been a long road to get to where I have. I started on small low, no promoter, Clifton Ledger Centre. You know, I've been all around boxing undercards. And um, the main thing is I kept belief in myself. And then I've uh, now moved to a trainer that's got belief in me as well. And, uh, you know, I've just got full confidence in, in my future. And, uh, you know, it's going to be an exciting ride. Leewood, amazing, very well deserved. And the new, and happy birthday. Thank you. Brilliant.